Now, the question was, what is it? And that was the moment, I say, that I became a conscious spiritual seeker. What power in the universe could change me in this way? And I was fortunate to meet a man who had a, a large spiritual library. And he said he had had a similar experience with alcohol to me. And, and he said, you are welcome to take any book that you like. If it interests you, fine. If not, come back, get another one. No limit. And so I started reading these books. And it turns out other people were asking the same question. What is this power greater than me? How does it work? What's it like? All of these books. And there are lots of books. He had lots of books. And I read Christian mystics. I read uh, Jewish mystics. I read the Buddhists, Zen Buddhists, Dzogchen, Tao. I read all. I didn't read a lot of. Uh, I didn't read any Advaita, interesting. <laughs> but I was reading all of these things and I was drawn to the Tao. And to that non-dual teaching. The Tao to change the essence of it. It was very powerful for me. And I tried all kinds of things. I was a very active seeker. I tried different meditations. Sitting meditations, walking meditations. I studied Tai Chi. You all know. <laughs> <laughs> I did all that. <laughs> and finally, after two years of this, in the on September 16th of 1985, I walked into a room and Ramesh walked into it. And here I am. Sometimes the universe does a very good job. 